Yeah, shot of Barbara. Doing the skin fade right here. As you see, I already skinned it out. Went halfway up. Wall designers. Wall designers is a little ran out though. Wall designers one guard. You know, um, all the way closed. As you see, I already went halfway. Just like that. That's how I break down the skin fade. After I go, after I usually go halfway, what I usually do is I'll take the guard off and, and with, the, with the regular guard to half, I just start breaking down this line right here. This line of demarcation. I start breaking it down. And when I start breaking it down, I go right up under this line. I go right up under that line. Start breaking it down. And I go all the way down, halfway. Right? And I'm going right up under that line that I just did. And you see it start to fade out. I go halfway. Just like that. And you're just fading the lines out. So it's starting to blend already. Then, close, all the way close. And just knocking out that line of demarcation. Now, sometimes when you're trying to knock out that line of demarcation, it don't all the way come out. So what you have to do is kind of stand your clippers up just a little bit. Stand it up just a little bit. You know, normally people be flat on the head like that. What I'm saying is stand it up and cut like that. You know, come off the head a little bit. See the difference? You come off the head like that versus cutting like this. See what I'm saying? And you, when you do that, it'll just cut a little closer. Now, after doing that, after doing that, right, I'm only going to do this section right here because once I get this section right here, you, I won't bore you by doing the whole head because it's pretty much the same thing all the way around. So once you do that, right, as you can see, everything blended out. And what you want to do is you want to come back with your guard. You come back with your guard, right? One guard back on. And it's all the way open now. Now I'm bringing out that weight line. I'm bringing out that weight line. As you see that weight line already falling out. You know? Way line already coming up. Let that way line come up. As you see, I didn't comb the hair yet because I'm holding the camera with one hand and I don't have a GoPro. So, but that just goes to show you how easy it is to actually fade. You know, some people make it make it harder than what it is. You know. I just want to show you, I haven't combed my hair yet. And you see, you see my, my progress already. You know? That's because the guard is actually a comb as well. Look at my guard. You see my guard? Shouts out to those barbers that just refuse to get new guards and like the old ones because they get attached to them. So yeah, so now what I do, if I come down, because I'm still attacking that weight line, right? I come down on it. Clip is all the way open. All right. All the way open. Just like that. Still getting that weight line. Close it up a little bit. Still getting that weight line. And like I said, I'm not going to do, now this time, right here, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to stand it up just a little bit. Stand it just a little bit. So you can see. All right? I'm going to stand it up. That's the clippers. Standing up the clippers. Just like that, with the line out of there. As right, you see, everything blends in. All right? Now, from this point on, you just work in the fade to make everything look clean and new. Just 
like this. Like that, it works to show you that. So you draw it off. actually have to comb, so give me for the quality, y'all, you know, I'll be y'all, y'all know I'll be doing this stuff during shop hours, man, these be real customers I'm cutting, these ain't no people that I called up and said, hey man, let me, let me cut your hair on camera, man, these be real customers that just mess with me and be like, no, I don't care, I ain't got nothing else to do in my life, so, cut my hair, you see I had to comb it, being careful, standing the clippers up, it's just bumping the line out, just bumping lines out, that's all you can do, just bumping lines out, you're not trying to fade more than you have to, but as you see, the fade is pretty much done, now some of you barbers will stop right here, some of you barbers will look at that fade and say, I'm done, but I'm going to show you something within my fade, I'm going to show you something, this is why this fade is not done, first of all, right, when you get to this point, he's going to wear his hair kind of wild up here. So let's not worry about the quality of his hair up here, okay? We're just going to we're just gonna do something real quick. I'm going to show y'all something real quick. All right? Now, I'm just going to work with this section. I'm not going to do the whole head because it start getting redundant, you know? So, like I was saying, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my liners, right? And I'm going to line them up. Now, like I say, some of y'all would be like, yo, the fade's done. But it's not. I'm going to show you why. Now, once you line them up, right, first thing you do is give them a line and, and just, you know, however you're going to line them up. However, because some people might not even line this part up right here, you know, I, I like to, regardless if it's hair there or not, I still like to go through the motions. I don't know. Maybe it's, it is what it is. I like to go through the motions. So, once you line it up, as you can see, when you line it up, you can pretty much see flaws already. You know what I'm saying? Like, flaws right here. Right here in the fade, where, where it's not consistent with right here in the fade. You know what I'm saying? This part of the fades, good. This part, not so much. And this part, not so much. Even right here. You can still see part of that line of demarcation. And see, the thing about a fade is you gotta, even up here, even up here, you can still see a heavy weight line. It's real faint, but you can see a heavy weight line. And the thing about a fade is you gotta pay attention to detail. Because if you do not pay attention to detail, your fade ain't gonna be right. And there's always gonna be a barber like, yeah, I got it. So, so you keep, keep, keep barbers off your tail, keep barbers off your back, Pay attention to detail. Don't be afraid to step back on that fade and look at it. And look at it from a different angle. Because when you look at it from a different angle, it tends to show you different things. You know? So you got to kind of move around and, and look at that fade. You know what I'm saying? You can see different things. So, touching on those spots right there that I just told you about. Right? It's all about detail with a fade, you know? You can't you can't think you're gonna do a fade and, and not pay attention to detail. Now I feel I feel like it's it's more consistency within that fade. See what I'm saying? And that's just that part. Now don't mind, don't mind this part right here because I didn't even fade from here on back. But now coming up here to the to the top part, right? And blending that part in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my one and a half guard, right? And I'm gonna close and just come right down because we just need to take off a little bit of weight now. That's all, right. just a little bit of weight. Nothing major. Take that weight off. There you go. Now, as you see, the consistency is more. You know, see how consistent that fade is? 
Now what you would do is you would do the same thing all the way around the head. You know what I'm saying? Even if you get up on it, come back on it. Get up on it. You know what I'm saying? Come back on it. It's all going to be the same. It should all be the same. You feel me? Like I said, I'm only going to do this part right here because I'm just going to show you. But once you line it up, you can see a lot more of what's going on. As you see, that was my stand before, but that didn't work. But, um, yeah, man, I'm Shada Barber, and this is how I do a fade.